Welcome back to All Things with Allah. I am Allah, and today I am making a keto, keto and chicken enchiladas. Never made them before. Do not have a recipe. You guys are going to make it with me. Grab a pen and paper and just write down what I'm doing. Hopefully, it'll be good. I don't know. Never made them before. Uh, my sister told me about them. She gave me some pointers, so we're going to give it a try. The but if you wanted a recipe i know this particular company has a recipe on the side so but these are beef when i looked at it it's beef and i'm making chicken um i'm actually using the shredded chicken from the tea room and how i make this shredded chicken is in a pressure cooker and there's a recipe i'll link there's not recipe i take it back there's no recipe I don't have recipes. A lot of times I don't have recipes. I just do stuff by taste and looks and smell and stuff like that. So if you're here for like step-by-step -step recipe, I'm not the girl for you. I'm sorry. I don't have that. I don't do that. And I make up stuff as I go. So I don't have the recipes to share so it's not like a recipe that i got from somewhere that i can share i don't have it i'm sorry but i say just grab a pen and paper and jot it down as best as you can so we're gonna make what are we making enchiladas i don't know if i'm saying that right or not but whatever it's okay um this is the tortillas 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 i think it's tortillas that I am using. They are keto. Let me try to see if you guys can see. Um, our Acme, I got it at our Acme. I don't know if Acme is everywhere, but that's where I got it. So we're gonna try it, see how they turn out. So we have tortillas, tortillas, tortillas tortilla my son is telling me in the back it's tortilla yeah. but there's two l's there so? you don't say it? none of the l's no. he says i don't say any of the l's english is a confusing yeah english is a confusing language and then we have tacos shredded cheese uh again the chicken and then toward sauce yes tomato no it's enchilada sauce oh, so Let's do this. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see the craziness of my life and my everyday stuff with work and home and car stuff. Well, I do only car. The only car stuff I post is my Tesla. That's it. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's make these and see what happens. So I am making this for six five to six people. Uh, I don't know how many who's going to have, but I'm assuming like two per person. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to dump my chicken out. I had this in the freezer because I made it on Saturday and today is Monday and I didn't want it to go bad. So I took it out of the freezer this morning still a little bit frozen it's not that frozen it's all right i moved everything to the side because it's just easier for me to work and it's easier for you guys to see <laughs> so i preheated my oven to 400. i did scan the qr code and it said three four three seventy five my top oven i have two ovens my top oven it bakes less. It doesn't bake as high. So I already know that I have to crank up the heat a little bit when I'm in there. Um, I think I have seven cups of chicken in here. Shredded chicken. And I think it's too much. And I don't want to like season. I don't want to prepare all the chicken. So I'm thinking. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to spill some of it out. 
so half. I'm going to make a few, see how much it makes, and we'll go from there. Ooh. Okay. So from what I remember, my sister said <laughs> that I have to... Oh, I don't remember now. Okay, I'm going to go on the recipe. And read it. Preheat oven. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I am supposed to dump this in here along with my cheese. So my chicken is already seasoned. And in my chicken, I have chives. I have crushed peppers, garlic, parsley mix, salt and pepper, and seasoning, salt seasoning. So I have that in my chicken already. And now I'm going to add a whole can of, of this. And cheese. Uh, I'm using the ta taco style cheese. Uh, that looks about right. Did like half a bag. All right. Okay, I think I need to add more chicken. Well, it's ready, ready. You fast, oven. Okay, we're just gonna mix it because that's what it says to do. Again, I have never made this, but it can't be bad. It looks good. I think it needs more cheese though. I'm gonna add more cheese. I like lots of cheese. The sun is like right in my eyes which I normally don't mind, but I can't see what I'm doing, how much it looks. Looks good. I think it looks good. Give it a try. Okay, so she said I had to put the sauce on the bottom. Oh, it's very, I thought it had like chunks in it, but it's just sauce. Okay. And then she said, no, the cheese goes on top. <laughs> I hope I'm doing this right. She's watching and she's probably like laughing. That's okay. <laughs> and then we roll it up, right? I don't want to touch this with my bare hands because I just don't. We're going to grab a spatula. Okay, I don't know if you can. Oh, oh, you, all you cooks out there who made this before are probably having a hoot, a hoot, <laughs> is what I meant to say, laughing at me. But I've never done it before, so I don't know. You can tell me in the comments of what I'm doing wrong, but I guess we'll tell by how it tastes. I think, I feel like I need more chicken on the side but i don't want too much chicken because i want them to taste the that tortilla tortilla yeah whatever all right tortilla okay so i think i'm gonna do it this way there we go one down maybe i don't know if i'm doing it right that's okay all right I'm gonna put another one down. Yeah, I don't want a lot of chicken. Like, I wanna taste the tortilla, tortilla. I got it, I got it. By the end of the video, I'll be pronouncing it right. Maybe not, that's okay.
we in our house <clears throat> we try to do as keto friendly as possible and that goes for everybody even my son who's 10 he doesn't mind as long as it tastes good he actually is uh, loves like veggies and meat so when I can do keto for everybody I do so there it is okay thing it looks great I don't know what it's supposed to look like but here it looks great so I estimated that they're going to have two per person. I mean, it's pretty small, but I could be wrong. But I want to make enough where we can have some leftovers for tomorrow. I don't know if it's good. We'll try it. I've seen these like pre-made. So if they're good pre-made, if you, you know, preheat them or whatever, then they have to be good if you meal prep them, right? Why not? That one has a lot of cheese. The cheese didn't mix very well there. Oh, I think this is too much chicken. Make sure you season your chicken. Like I know my chicken is seasoned. I think that's very important. Do I have enough? I'm trying to see if I have enough for one more. I'm big on seasoning. Like I have to have my salt, my pepper, my garlic. It has to be seasoned. Okay. I think this is good right looks good so then she said i have to put some on top we'll put some sauce on top probably enough to cover it so it doesn't like dry out the tortilla and then we're gonna sprinkle our cheese I don't like a huge clump to fall out. Yeah, and it just did what I didn't want it to do. Boy. Lots of cheese. Cheese is good. Even it out a little bit. I almost feel like I should season this with some garlic, but I'm going to stop myself. Okay. And then it goes in the oven. I don't know for how long. It says that it goes in the oven. Where'd it go? For 20 minutes. That seems long. I mean, I guess. All right. Going in the oven. Okay. All right. Let it do its thing. While those are baking, I'm going to make a simple Caesar salad. I love Caesar salad. And 
I would say out of the six people that live in the house, I think four, maybe five like it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with it. I'm not sure. I know my husband's not a big fan of it, but I'm not sure about my one daughter. She changes often, so. Drop that in there. I don't like the ends of these very much. I don't, I'm not a big fan of how they taste. I don't know if you're supposed to cut them and you're not supposed to even eat them or what. I just don't. I don't like the center either. <laughs> I know. Don't like this. I don't like that. That's okay. Okay. That goes in the trash. And we're going to rinse this out. And then put our top on there. Jumping. Get our water out. Perfect. And I will use this bowl to make my salad right in. I like how wide it is. It's just the perfect size. Okay, salad dressing. So I really, really like this one, but it's not very keto. It's, I would say it is friendly because it doesn't have a lot of sugar, but it does have sugar. Now I did buy this one and there is no sugar. So let me get closer. I love this one. Absolutely love it. But this one is more keto. Yeah, it doesn't have anything that's like banana flour. Green banana flour, it says. I've never even heard of that. <sighs> yeah, soybean oil, water. This is why it's good. Because it has not so good stuff in there. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible. It's one gram of sugar for two tablespoons. Honestly, you're not eating two tablespoons. I don't even see that. Um trying to think what else is like really bad in here yeah I don't see anything else besides that a little bit of that sugar everybody in our house loves it and we sacrifice it <laughs> but when I do um like very very clean strict keto I I don't eat that I stay away from anything and everything that has sugar on it So, and then I put the croutons on the side because I don't eat croutons even when I don't know. You know, look at my hot mess. One day we'll clean it out. I don't, yeah, see. Ta da! I don't know where the croutons went. Usually they're in there. I don't eat croutons. I don't like the texture of them. Even when I don't do keto or I didn't do keto, I never ate croutons. I just, I don't like them. I don't know. So normally I put them on the side and I have to figure out where they got lost. So we'll have that. But I love Caesar salad. 
I'm excited to try this. I will, just not with like the whole family because this is for the whole family and I don't know if they're going to like this and I don't want them to get like disgusted by the Caesar salad because the dressing wasn't the same as always, but we love that dressing. It smells good. This one smells better though. I think it smells good though, but like I said, I'll do this for myself only. And then I always clean my lettuce, cut my lettuce, put it in the refrigerator. And right before we serve it, right before everybody sits down, I will put the dressing in the salad. And that's when it goes. We don't put cheese on our salad either. Don't like it. So we just don't. So it's basically just good old lettuce. What do we have? It's got one more minute, minute and a half. Almost, almost. I think it looks good. I hope. Okay, the timer is going off, so they are ready to come out. I'm gonna grab two gloves just to be safe. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> I think it looks good. I think it needs some greenery on top, so. I have another one in here, so I'm going to put this in here for 20 minutes. Wait. Um, timer. 20 minutes to start. I think that needs some parsley on top. It will just look better. There you go. Looks better, right? Like, you just, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna give it a try. Let me grab a plate. And something to grab it with. Okay, this is hot. Remember that. <laughs> Talking to myself, reminding myself. All right. Which piece are we going to try? Let's try this piece. Ooh, that's so cheesy. It's a lot of sauce. I think I added too much sauce. But we'll see. Maybe it's supposed to have that much sauce. Ooh, it's out. Oh, I need a fork and a knife, probably. See, I need my salad with it. Like, I have to have something fresh with my food. It's cutting nicely. Oh. It's very cheesy. Looks hot. I think I like it. I like it a lot. It's actually really good. Um, my only complaint is I need a salad with it, but it's really good. Mm. That's so good. You can't even tell this is keto. So one tortilla has, I said it right, um, one tortilla has 80 calories and it says that, okay, so let's do the math. I don't know how to do that math, but let me show you. I'll get up closer, but that's what it's, that's where it's at. But I honestly would never know this was keto. There's, it's so good. I don't know if you can see all the ingredients on there. Oh, so you, look. Oh, you, Allah, seriously, pay attention. It says it right there. So it's, it is, it's zero carbs. Awesome. Yeah, it's really good. I was, I'm, I'm surprised. I don't, 
I'm not a big tortilla fan, but this is good. I can do so much with this. I'm excited. Thank you to my sister for um, introducing me to these because I'm excited. This is really good. Let's make the salad and have dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you try this. Let me know in the comments if you do. Please don't make fun of me too much of my mispronunciation of tortillas and everything else. I know. I'm not great, but that's okay. I know it's all right. I'm not too worried about it. It is what it is. My kids, my kids get really embarrassed by it, but I don't care. I don't care. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so good. I'm, ha I'm excited this turned out. It's really yummy. I'm excited for everybody to get home and have dinner together. <sighs> Tired too. We still have lots of dishes to do and a couple loads of laundry and mom life. Yay. That's okay. No complaints. Um, what I was trying to say is let me know in the comments if you've tried it, what you think. Again, I'm sorry that I don't have a recipe. I'm sorry in advance that I don't have a recipe for a lot of my stuff. I just, I don't cook with recipes and I should, because a lot of times people will tell me, wow, this is so good. How'd you make it? I can never make it again because there's no recipe. So I just kind of, you know, whatever happens, happens. But um, I'll do my best to try to get some recipes for you guys. The chicken, the shredded chicken is in a video. I will post that video. Again, there's no recipe, but I will link it into the description. Um, this is the chicken salad sandwiches that we make at the tea room. This is the chicken from it. So I think it's really good. I think this would be really good with turkey to have more protein because I love turkey. But if I, especially with Thanksgiving coming up, leftover turkey, there you go, there you go. I think this would be really good. Any, honestly, any meat. My son was saying he wants to try it with the beef like the recipe said. So I'll try it one day with the beef too, but I'm excited how this came out. I really hope that you guys try it and enjoy it and it's really good. I do think I put too much sauce in here. It's too saucy for me. But otherwise, I think it's really good. So thanks for being here. And until next time, have a blessed day.